Hey guys, how you doing? So check it out. Right in front of my face is a gray tree frog. Just singing along. These guys are so cool. I really like them. As you can see, it looks a lot like lichen or beech tree bark. In fact, they love to hang out in the top of the beech trees, some of the maple, walnut, and oak trees, but they really prefer the beech trees because they blend right into that bark and those leaves and the lichen that grows on the beech tree. Really cool looking. I think the sound is a lot like uh, King Ghidorah or Ghidorah from Godzilla. Just hear that sound and slow it down a little bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, these guys are usually this color, but sometimes they'll be gray, especially when they're younger. They'll be gray when they're immature or if one of them's dead, it usually turns gray. Or if they're stressed out, they turn gray. When they're happy, they'll be this nice mottled green and gray blotches. And I'll show you a little bit. They have this little characteristic teardrop under their eye. That's one of the ways you really know that it's a, a gray tree frog, but that call gives it away too. There's a bright green one like I was talking about. Look at that yellow on the legs. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Now, it's only the males that sing. Uh, they pretty much sing to attract the females, to say how healthy they are, how good their lungs are, and stuff like that. They also vocalize messages to other males saying, this is my spot, you know, you better find another spot. Um, so it's basically to claim territory and to attract females. They also have a male release call in case a male grabs them, mistaking them for a female. He'll do a little call, let them know that that's another guy. He'll let go and go looking somewhere else. So if you look closely, you can see that off-white, that greenish off-white teardrop shape under the eye. And it's outlined in black. That's actually pretty characteristic of the gray tree frog. They all have it. So if you see a frog that looks like one and doesn't have that, it's not a gray tree frog. Another cool thing about these guys is they can live from like seven to nine years at least in captivity. And in the wild, people suspect that they're, you know, they can live around seven years. But the average is about anywhere between seven to nine years in captivity. Here you go, guys. There's that... Oh, awesome. A single frog can change the texture of its skin if it wishes to. I've seen uh, one go from bright, smooth, green colored, you know, with a smooth skin. And then when he stressed out or when he got onto a beech tree, he turned gray and started to get bumps on his skin. Another characteristic of the males, besides the fact that they sing, is they usually have a dark throat or dark chin, and the females have like a white one. I don't know. I kind of think that that dark is from bruising, from the expansion of the vocal sac. That's just me, though. So if you look closely at their toes, you notice how they're round and flat at the tips. Well, those are their suction cup feet. Really sticky toes they've got, and really strong arms. They'll jump and just catch onto a branch with the tip of their toe if that's what happens, and they'll pull themselves up onto the branch that way. They're really strong climbers. These guys are really vocal when the right time of year comes along. In fact, they tend to like singing on a moonless night overcast with some drizzle or rain and nice and warm. In the upper 70s or even 80s is really preferable to these guys. This is mid-June right now, which is their time of year. They'll descend from the canopy way up in the trees and come down to a vernal pool, you know, into the wetlands, where there's water in order for them to breed and lay their eggs. They need water to lay those eggs in. And uh, the rest of the time, the rest of the year, they'll spend up in the trees. Sometimes in a wet crevice or a hole in the tree that's got some moisture in it. Um, damp, rotting logs and things like that is where they'll stay out for the rest of the year. Except for the winter, in which case they'll go underground or into rotting logs and stuff like that and hibernate throughout the winter. 
So check out the patina of the tree bark and this frog's skin. Look how they match almost perfectly. And then when they want to blend into something, all they do is change the color of their skin and it just takes a couple of minutes to change it. It's really neat to watch. There's a happy couple, an amplexus. That's what you call uh, two frogs who are mating or in this, in this position. That's called amplexus. Gray tree frog, one of my all-time favorite frog species.